And here we are with the Hot Toys Luke Skywalker Bespin figure known as DX24. I really like the poses that are on the outside of the box, but again, they're using images of the figure. I prefer that they would use artwork or the actual actor from the movie. I just think that'd be cooler. The interior box is awesome. I really love the reflective like neon foil blue outside. When you move it in the light, you're seeing new images every time, which is very cool. And it's just a great color, and I think it just adds so much to the DX series. On the inside of the box, they have a cover that goes over the figure. And this is kind of the same quality as the inner box. And it's just like that same blue color with an awesome picture of Luke Skywalker. I love it. And here's Luke. Standard pose. I really love his outfit. I think he looks the way he should look. They did a fantastic job with this one, and it's right on par with the Return of the Jedi DX figure from The Mandalorian. Fantastic. It's in the box! So you get two hair sculpts. You get this uh, wet look, which is either like a Dagobah or fighting in Cloud City with Vader look, and then this combed look, which is like his Boogie Nights hairstyle. You got the touch! You got the power! You see the image here this is how they look on the head sculpt and i think they did a fantastic job i love both depending on what pose you want to do you also get a dl44 gun and then luke's lightsaber you get a closed fists you get two saber wielding fists one for each arm and then you get a kind of force wielding hand with the two fingers out and then another closed hand, and then uh, an outstretched hand and a relaxed hand. On this you also get the Whirlwind lightsaber blade and the standard non-moving lightsaber blade. Here's the light up arm, that's where you put the batteries in, and then there's the switch that goes inside of the sleeve of the figure. When you turn it on, the LED blue light turns on, it lights up the saber. I wanted to show you this in dark light, that's why the shot is so dark. Here's the light beaming out of the saber blade. It's really cool if you want to do that sort of a pose, especially if you put them on the light of podium. The whirlwind blade looks amazing. Uh, that's probably going to be the way I pose them after a while. With this figure you get an accessory to the base, which I like to call the espresso machines, because who the hell knows what these are in the movie. So these are his Starbucks espresso machines, in case he gets tired fighting Vader. And this is his little Marilyn Monroe steam blowing up out of the bottom grilled platform from Empire. Maybe it's over here by this manhole. Ah! That's fucking hot! This is from the uh, scenes where he's trying to find Vader and fighting Vader in Cloud City. Here's the base lit up. This is a fantastic base. The only problem is, is that they're not rechargeable. You have to plug them in individually. But look at that. You got that red light beaming up the figure, and this is in like medium darkness, and it still looks that great. For the espresso machines, this is just uh, how you know that they're on, and they're ready to make coffee. So, I love the look of the utility belt. He has all the pockets, the little metal buckle, and the holster for the DL44. Everything looks really good, but this little strap on the leg, I almost broke it because it's supposed to slide up the leg, but I thought it was Velcro, like the back of the belt right here. But it's not Velcro, it's glued on. So I almost tore it apart when I first put it on. Just make sure you slide it up the leg. So here are the head sculpts from the old DX07 Luke Bespin figure, that's the combed look. And then here's the wet hair look. And then compare that to the new figures, and I think the new ones are extraordinarily better. The wet look and the dry hair is better. DX24 with the combed back, Boogie Nights hairstyle. I really think they did a good job with it, and this is the way he looks when he enters Cloud City for the first time, searching for Leia and Han, and Chewie and all that. It's a profile shot, both sides it looks great, and then here we go with the wet hair look, again I still think it's a step above and beyond what the older head sculpt looked like, there's a profile shot of the wet hair, and then another angle from the other side.
I was worried about the articulation with this figure because it's somewhat of a tight suit, but the movement on the arms is easily achieved. You can bend them and also move the arm up. There's a little bit of pushback here, so don't go too far, but you can still achieve that. And then the legs move almost to a 90 degree angle in the front, but be careful because the utility belt is connected to the leg, so you don't want to rip anything. And it goes all the way back. So this is an issue with every movable eye Hot Toys figure. It's not true. That's impossible. But I hate the independent eye movement. They should do it in art does where there's one joystick that moves both eyes. Otherwise it's a pain. So I'm really fond of this figure. I think it's one that's worth getting. I can't say whether I would get this over the Mandalorian Luke Skywalker figure, but I think it's just as good. It just depends which Luke you want. If you want to get both, kudos to you. Go for it. I do have one gripe though with these DX series figures. They're starting to put these USB charging ports on there. They're actually not even charging ports, the plug-in ports, so that you can light up your displays. It's really cool, but you have to have a separate plug for each stand and this one's two so I have to have two separate plugs to have the whole stand lit up. What Hot Toys needs to do is they really need to have rechargeable stands. This way I could charge it up if I'm having company over or I just want to light it up I could charge it up light it up and let it just sit there without having a giant plug coming out of it because if you have let's say 10 more DX figures and each base requires one or two you're talking about like 10 to 20 plugs going out of your display into like a power strip and who the heck wants that that's so ugly that would look ridiculous with that said i like everything about this figure i like the proportions i like the hair sculpts i love the head sculpts the weapons the espresso machines are even cool even though i think they're not necessary it adds to the base a little bit but it's definitely a figure that's worth getting what's my final score Nine severed hands out of ten.